Here's example 8b in our binomial theorem topic. We're evaluating the powers of real numbers. So we've already done example 8a. If you haven't had a look at that, I would suggest you do so first of all. So we're using the binomial theorem in order to evaluate something like this, 2.3 to the power 5. The rule is no calculators allowed at any point. Because if you start using a calculator, then it defeats the whole purpose of trying to work this whole thing out. Because why couldn't you just use a calculator to work out 2.3 to the power 5? So we're going to use this as a non-calculator exercise just to explore the properties of the binomial theorem. So evaluate 2.3 to the power 5. We need a binomial expression. We need two terms in uh, our power. So what we're going to do is say that 2.3 power 5 is equal to, and we split 2.3 up, we have a, a whole number and then a decimal part. So the whole number part would be 2, and then we could say that that's plus 0 0.3 to the power 5. So that gives us our binomial expression. So we can think about that in terms of the binomial theorem that which would be, let's write it out in full anyway, the binomial theorem says for r equals 0 to n, the sigma of that, the sum of n choose r times x to the power n minus r times y to the power r. And in this case here, n is 5. So we can say that it's the sum of all the terms from r equals 0 to 5 of 5 choose r. Our first term is 2, so it's 2 to the power 5 minus r. Second term, positive 0 0.3, 0 0.3 to the power r. So that's how we're going to set out our expansion. We've got six terms that we're going to write out, so it's going to take a wee bit of time here. So we're going to start off. Um, so we've got 5 choose 0, and we've got 2 to the power 5, and there's no uh, r0, so there's no 0 0.3 term, plus 5 choose 1, 2 to the power 4, multiplied by 0 0.3, plus 5 choose 2, 2 cubed, multiplied by 0 0.3 squared, plus 5 choose 3, 2 squared, 0 0.3 cubed, 5 to the 4, 5 choose 4, 2 to the power 1, multiplied by 0 0.3 to the power 4, and finally, 5 choose 5, we've got no 2, it's 2 to the power 0, which is 1, so we've got 0 0.3 to the power 5. We can always check that we've got this right by adding up the powers each time and they should always add up to 5. So we've got 5 there, we've got 4 and 1 effectively, we've got 3 and 2 is 5, 2 and 3 is 5, 1 and 4 is 5, and we've got 5. It's a nice wee spot check to make sure you've got it right. I want to evaluate all the stuff, and we've got n is 5, which means that I'm dealing with row 5 of um, Pascal's triangles. You wanted to think about the binomial coefficients, and that's them here, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So I'm going to substitute them in in the next row, and I'm going to evaluate as much as I can. So first term, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 0 is 1, 2 to the power 5 is 32. So that gives me my first term. Okay. Second term, 5 choose 1 is 5, and... 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and I've got 0 0.3. Plus, 5 choose 2 is 10, 2 cubed is 8, and 0 0.3 squared. Uh, well, 3 squared is 9, and your answer is going to have 2. And so we've talked about this in the last example. Um, it's 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3 will have two decimal places in our answer. And if we know that the 9 is the last digit, then the answer is 0 0.09. And then 5 choose 3 is also 10. 
2 squared is 4, and then we've got 0 0.3 cubed. So we know that 3 cubed is 27. We know that the answer has to have three decimal places. So if I've got 0 point, there's 1, 2, 3 decimal places. 3 cubed is 27, and therefore my answer to that is 0 0.027. Uh, the next one, we've got 5 times 2, and the same idea, 0 0.3 to the power 4. 3 to the power 4 is 81. We've got to have four decimal places, 0 0.0081. And in the last term, 5 to the 5 is 1. 0 0.3 to the power 5, 3 to the power 5 is, well, 3 times 81, which is 243. It's got to have five decimal places. Um, so what did I say? It was 243, 2, 4, 3, and there's my 0 0.3 to the power 5. So it's quite easy to work out powers of decimal numbers, particularly when there's only a, a, a single non-zero digit in them. You just use your normal powers, except you're going to have to think about decimal places. We can hopefully work this out. We've got 32 is our first term. 5 times 16 is 80, and 80 multiplied by 0 0.3, well, 0 0.3 times 8 is 2.4, multiplied by 10 is 24. Uh, next term, we've got 10 times 8 is again 80, multiplied by 0 0.9, uh, 8 times 0 0.9 is 0 0.72, multiplied by 10 is 72. Uh, next row, we've got 10 times 4 is 40 uh, multiplied by 0 0.027. Well, if we think about uh, 0 0.027 multiplied by 4, 4 sevens are 28, 4 is that's 0, that's 0 0.108. So I have to multiply by 10, so that's 1.08. We've got 5 times 2 is 10 multiplied by. The next number gives us 0 0.081, and then we've got our value here. And it's just a matter of adding these up, which you can do in whatever way uh, sits you. If we add up the whole numbers, 32 and 24 is 56, plus 7, 56, plus 7 is 63, plus 1 is 64. So I think we're going to go over that. And then if we add up our uh, decimals, we've got 0 0.2, 0 0.28, 0 0.28, 0 0.081, 0 0.00243. If we add up all of them, we get 0 0.36343. So my answer... 64.36343 and if you were to check that remember that what we're dealing what's the look, equal signs down the left hand side what is it we're actually trying to work out we're basically saying that 2.3 to the power of 5 is 64.36343 and you could go ahead and check that out on a calculator and you'll find that it's exactly the same so you can practice of doing these things here um, it's an interesting application it's not very practical in that we uh, normally would use a calculator but it's a good uh, way to see how the binomial theorem can be applied in this way